Hi, I'm Richard Heaps. I'm in my studio in Cambridge. I get a lot of questions about these yellow boxes that are behind me, these Kodak boxes, which I keep all my prints in. So today I'm going to show you what's in the box. What's in the box? It's the top box. It's the prettiest box. Lots of hues in it. Clearly Richard's box, Richard Heaps. Look at the yellow, yellow, copied from Kodak. <laughs> okay, so what is in the box? Well, the box is from New Jersey, 2013. Okay, so New Jersey. I used to have like cousins from America and they lived in New Jersey. And they'd come over here and do like coach trips and they were like fascinated in the UK and they'd go to castles. And I had an equal interest of where they came from. So they came from New, New Jersey. So we went off to, to New Jersey. And this is where I went. This is like the town of Wildwood. So this nice signage. Well, signage with no without signs. And then we have real signs, bathroom signs from the 1950s. Men and ladies. New Jersey's a, a doo wop, the original doo wop. Oh, I should town, say. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. So Wildwood is like a you know, doo wop town. It's thankfully been preserved, I should say. It's been preserved. It's got a, it's got a great feel. I mean, I like I like photographing the east coast of uh, of Great Britain. I like photographing the whole coast of Great Britain actually, but particularly the east coast is my nearest uh, seaside resorts. But in some ways, they got a little bit of a, a little bit of feel. Maybe not these, maybe not these pictures particularly, but I mean, maybe Great Yarmouth has got a little bit of a little bit of this, and every like. Seaside town has got a little, little electric cinema. Sea, so you know what you know. You buy the sea because you've got the sea cinema. Bit of twilight. Maybe this gave the inspiration for the Twilight, whatever it is, series. Twilight. What is it? Twilight. The mood. What is it? It's got that guy in it. Or Twilight. We're living in the twilight. And that's it, that's the box. Probably had this box 30 years. So all these prints have been made in the dark room. So they were taken on, on film and then the, the, the film was processed. We made a, ne a negative. So in the dark room, light has gone through the film been projected down onto the, onto the photographic paper which is light sensitive and then it's put through the developer the fix and the wash the chemical the chemical pr um, process and then we've ended up with this um, 10 by 8 print which which is um, a handy sort of like start starting point before you you make sure it, it looks good I live with it for a bit before I commit myself to a to a larger a larger print. I can also like scan it nice and easily so I can get it out on the web so everyone can everyone can see it. And you run your own dark room? I run my own dark room. I'm very lucky. I've had my own dark room now I think for for twenty for twenty for twenty years. So it allows me to yeah make my own prints. I'm in control of everything. I can make as many prints as I want to to make quite um, cost effectively but I think the main thing is I, I can make the prints to look exactly how I want them to be and get the best out of them. So I thought I'd show you the final result so this is when it's been put into the into a mount so it's got a nice archival mount around the outside and on the back it's got the certificate of authenticity, authenticity. it's got my signature the edition number here and also 
behind the mount on the back of the print I also sign an addition as well.